What's up there, knuckleheads? Why, yeah, uh, you oughta. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, today, uh, let's see, Rudiments 101, the, uh, which one is it I'm doing? The single paradiddle diddle. Oh, uh, yeah. This ought to be great. I bet this circle looks dirty. I'm sure it's got some, some stains on it or something, somewhere. No food on it? Oh, sweet. Um, paradiddle diddle. Um, uh, para, in the, the paradiddle diddle thing, para is normally the single stroked part. Para diddle. So if you have para diddle diddle, para diddle diddle. And if you have like double para diddle, that means two paras. Para para diddle. Triple para diddle means triple paras. Diddle, diddle or that, 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 that. So, uh, if you had, let's say, para double diddle, that would be a para and then a double diddle. Sound right? Or that's actually, that's sort of the same thing as a single para diddle, huh? Single para, wait, single para diddle diddle. That's what I'm doing, right? Let me look here. Single para. Well, why don't they call it a single, what was it? What, 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 Triple para diddle. Why don't they have a para triple diddle or a para double diddle? Doesn't that make more sense? Isn't it more parallel with what's going on? So if I wanted to do a para and four diddles, I would have to go para diddle 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 diddle. But to shorten it up, I could do para quadruple diddle or quadruple para diddle. Yeah, we just came up with something, baby. <laughs> Maybe I should just go and shut up and play the room, and uh... Alright, let's do that. Here we go! Alright. shot over here might have been a stutter I don't know but before we get into that as you know when I play my room I get to put on a special cologne to do them <laughs> I'm so excited check out this one ready for it ready for it ready for it oh, sax New Orleans yes bond number nine look at the packaging on this thing good lord you know how much that packaging costs I'm sure it costs a lot, and... <laughs> oh. Black bottle. Fleur de Lis. Uh, in Swarovski crystals. <coughs> Swarovski crystals, even. And signed by the owner of the company, Loris. Oh, my Lord, this stuff smells great. And it should, at about $100 an ounce. If you want to get your bottle, too late. Limited edition run? <laughs> I got myself two of them. Oh, this stuff smells great. And these actually came with the little, with the little candy wrapper samples. Uh, this one here is Andy Warhol. Uh, all of, Some of the proceeds from this goes to the Andy Warhol Foundation. Um, the name of this uh, fragrance is Success is a Job in New York, which is also very good. If you would like to buy one of my bottles, you can let me know, and I'll let you know how much you have to pay for it. <laughs> if you don't want to pay that much for it, then and um, I'll keep it for myself. <laughs> and if you don't like it, all right. Now back to this uh, single double. Let's see, single para double diddle, single para diddle diddle, para double diddle. It should be really a para double diddle. But anyway, one of the things you're going to notice when. Uh, looking at this is my hand movement 
when I'm playing it fast right here. Okay. Now uh, I'll play it fast. So you can see that again if you had if you weren't if you didn't notice it like this. You see how that it's doing this? It's it, it, the, the way it looks there is uh, like I'm coming out and in, and I sort of am. And you know what that is, don't you? Eh, it's kind of that molar thing. Okay. If I were to try to do this rudiment in the way I used to play, which is basically down, up, down, up, right? Everything right here, it would have been like this. But I do it this way now. And it actually sounds better, doesn't it? If you'll notice on this hand, when I am playing it slow, I am really loose. I am so loose that my hand is basically about like that. Then, when I'm doing this, my hand turns to this. And I'm touching the finger here to get more pressure to push down. If I try to get faster, my finger here will come in. Like, you know, the old Jeff Queen thing? He says, if you're going to try to get fast, just play one as fast as you can, like a paradiddle. Uh, let's see. Uh, what? That's a paradiddle with a tap. Well, uh, let me show you. And the left hand. Do the same thing with this one. Okay? And that will help you with this getting it tight for the... Because all this has to be low. Okay, and when you're you're doing it slower, uh, it, it's open like that. Be sure with this one, you don't fall into a trap of changing it up the the feel of it. It's supposed to be, um, uh, it's supposed to be uh, even, you know, and there's a tendency. To, when you play them faster, to go -da 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 -da, like like to to swing it a little bit, you know. Instead of uh, oh, I know. That's what it is. That's what I'm thinking. The first diddle, this diddle when you get them fast, there's a tendency to crunch them together. I certainly hope I didn't do it when I played my rudiment. But there's a tendency to squish them together because you just went from, you know. Uh, be careful not to do that. Be conscious of it or whatever. Uh, I guess that's about really it I can say on that. That was a lot of information, really. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's all I want to say about it. Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, that stuff smells good. Woo! Yeah, baby. All right. So, uh, practice on that one. Have fun. Um, be sure you do it left-handed also. Okay? Don't just uh, play everything, you know. Switch it up to the other hand and do the whole rudiment left-handed, uh, you know, from slow, fast, slow. Now notice how my arm here, I'll turn here. It's doing that. That's what you'll do in your uh, hand here. We'll probably still do some of this changing when it's slow. It'll come in like that. Just like when it's, it's uh, being a right hand lead. So, uh. Be conscious of that also. Um, if you don't change techniques doing it, I don't do it on purpose. It's just something that happens because I I play way looser now than I used to. Not because of drum set or anything, because I'm not a set player. Very surprising, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So um, do that. Have fun with it, as always. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Yeah.
uh, be good, and um, yeah, don't get in any trouble. I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and remember, it's just drums. Have fun.